looking at your books with your face. What class are you teaching? I'll be teaching this semester. I'll be teaching uh, illustrated memoirs. Sunday we're trying.
similar kind of thing. He does Japanese brush painting. Um, and we use this very thin paper. It's, it's raw paper. It has no sizing in it. But I'll just um, show you a little bit about it. Leaves. It's a very calm technique. Mm -hmm. uh, well, most of my students are, are, are full time working people who come right from work. And um, they tell me that they're completely relaxed and they can go home and you know do whatever they need to be doing. Mm -hmm. That's how you make that stroke. Okay. okay. It's very simple. The brush is the most important thing. Yeah. This brush has it's very thin. It has lots of lots of uh, hairs right up here at the hilt, and then it's, it's very, fewer hairs in here. And the way that the uh, the uh, hairs are cut is how you get this nice. I can get the same kind of point with this big fat brush. Or with that big oh, yeah, fat like <laughs> <laughs> so, That's how you do it. Just sort of lay it down. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a, an art form that um, children in China start to work at, as uh, kindergartners. Uh, and it's, uh, it's based in, in the written language. In the, for a thousand years and people still do it and I'm one of the idiots who does it yeah, how about that? and I travel all over the world I have exhibitions in Finland and Mexico Korea Japan Germany everywhere in the United States San Francisco Cincinnati Yeah, I told him he has to head off. Right? Chinese he gotta, like, do this. sensibility 